Now, uh, if you drive by yourself without a road map, you don't know what is just next building to get there. You may go round the world and get there. Or in the process of going round the world, you may just get lost or fall dead. Yes, not everybody has the endurance to complete the journey of that kind, which is of uncertain duration, isn't it? Or you go with a road map, somebody has told you, this is it, this is it, this is it. You do, you do just that and go with the road map. Still it's your effort but somebody's guidance. Another way is somebody is going there, you can see that this person is going in the right direction. So you just follow him. Another way. Another way is you don't even trust you following him because one moment you want to go to the bathroom by then he will be gone. So you just get onto his bus. Now, anyway you go there, no effort from your side. But there are different aspects of you. You want to go yourself because there is a certain aspect of you which want to do things, isn't it? All of you, if I ask you why are you working this hard, you say, what should we live? Don't I need food? Shouldn't I feed my children, my wife? Do one thing. I'll give them a roof and I'll give you food. You don't do anything, you simply sit. Okay? You, your wife, your children, I'll feed them, I'll give them a roof over their head. You don't do anything. Just sit quietly. Possible? You'll go crazy. You'll want to do many things, isn't it? So there is something in you which wants to do things. Till that urge is very strong, then you dri do your own driving. If you're sensible, use the road map. Otherwise get lost for a while here and there, do all kinds of crazy things. When you see you're not getting anywhere, ask for a road map. With the road map also you can get very confused and lost. Then you drive behind somebody. If you're doing well that way, fine. If you're not doing well that way, even there you're getting lost, then you just get onto somebody's bus. Now, even if you sleep, you'll go. This means that you have to keep yourself aside. If you have to get onto somebody's bus, you have to keep yourself completely aside. Your personality will not pass. You have to just sit. You don't decide how fast to drive, what to do, how to swing the bus. No, isn't it? You just sit. If he stops, you stop with him. If he goes, you go with him. This is one way of journeying. But you want to drive your own vehicle, then it involves risks, isn't it? It involves various things. So what is it that you're ready for is something that you have to decide. These four ways I'm talking about are just Bhakti, Gnana, Karma, Kriya. <laughs> do you understand? <clears throat> you want to do your own thing, hundred percent. You don't want to depend on anybody. This is Kriya. You want to take a road map and go. Gnana. You want to follow somebody else's bus. Karma. You just want to sit in somebody else's bus and go, you don't mind not being the driver, bhakti. <laughs> what are you ready for right now? You must see that. What I see is before you come to just getting into somebody's bus, you must go through all those things, otherwise you'll sit in the bus and want to drive it. <laughs> you'll sit in the back seat and want to drive it, isn't it, most of the time? That won't be good. Before you settle down into the seat, you should exhaust the other aspects, then only you can settle down. So how do you know the bus is going in the right direction? <laughs> That's a big question. 
How do you know this bus is really going there? <clears throat> you really don't know actually. You have no way of knowing also. It is just that if you notice that the driver or the bus seem to be traveling a different kind of terrain than you know, you must get on to it and try it. If you look at the driver, you feel very threatened but still you want to be there. That means you must get on the bus. If you're very comfortable, you're very pleased with the driver, you like the driver, very pleasant, don't get onto the bus because he belongs to your realm. That's why you like him so much. He's just like you. If you… if you sit with someone and for no reason you're uncomfortable, you're threatened, at the same time you still want to be there, that means you found your guru. Do you understand? <laughs> his ways are normal but his energy is abnormal. Anything that you don't understand is abnormal, isn't it? That's physics and that's God. <laughs> so, take your time, but when you feel you have done enough, get out of the bus. When you still think you need to do this and that, if you get onto the bus, you'll sit in the back seat and try to drive, that won't work.